Okay, and welcome. So I'm going to unbox the thigh eye. I've never owned one of these before. I don't have a GoPro, uh, but I'm going skiing and I wanted to get one. So I thought I'd share my first experience with you if you've never opened one before. So I'll just take the top off. Oh, I'll just show you. So I'll just take the lid off. So we've got the beast. This looks typically like what I've seen GoPros looking like. I've got no idea how to operate it. And then you've got a box. A battery, I presume. Cloth, cleaning cloth. Uh, lead for charging, looks like your typical um, phone charger, your USB charger. Another battery, always a sign that they don't last long when you get two. Sticky thing. And two more sticky pads. this funny looking thing and this which I also recognize from people who have GoPros because it goes into there to connect your GoPro to things like a head torch and things like that and it actually looks like it attaches to this as well okay so that's about it in your box you don't get loads of gadgets you haven't got like a nice packed box it doesn't come with a box you can reuse to transport it in uh, nothing like that there is a guide So that's quite useful for the first timer. It gives a number dotted indication of what you do with each thing. Number one, recorder indicating light. So that's quite important. That's this one. If you have it in the waterproof housing, that's this one. Number three is the power button. Uh, the Wi-Fi, that's quite important, is number four. Let me just find that for you. That's on the top as well. Okay, so just take it out of the box. I think this is how you do it. So you pull that forwards. Pull it out. There it is. It actually feels quite light. It does feel quite light. There's the um, screen, which I understand is not a touch screen. That's where your battery goes, the battery housing. I don't know whether you can see that. It's quite big. I presume the battery makes it feel heavy and that's why it feels quite light. But it's quite nice to the touch, it's quite textured. I don't think you'd drop it. Uh, let's have a go with the battery in. Even the batteries aren't that heavy actually, to be honest with you, carrying it on your head. So, inserts that way. I think this would be good for sport because you, it does have a weight to it, now the battery's into it actually, but I think um, if you were running with this it wouldn't really affect it, um, which is the whole point in it. If you had this on your head, I think you may feel the weight of it if you had this on your head for a while, but if you had it on a helmet on your head I don't think it would affect it to 
be honest with you. So it's quite nice. I love the texture. I feel like confidence that I wouldn't drop it even if it's outside this casing. This casing is very durable. It's really sturdy. But feels like a lunchbox, surprisingly. Okay, I'll just take this off. So in the guide, this top one here, where is it? Number three, no, this one here, next to the actual shutter, is the power button. Oh, there you go, turned on. That's quite nice to have an indication that it's on, which is blue, because blue shows up near enough in any light. So this is the screen that you can see. I'll just turn that round because I've just been told it's upside down. Sorry, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. So on the side we have some portals and they are a micro USB port which is number six which is that one and then we've got number seven which is the micro SD slot and I believe it can take up to 128 so you can get a fair old bit of footage on there um, providing the battery lasts and that's what we're going to test a bit later um, so what else do we have there number six number seven number eight the HDMI D type all there on the side this doesn't have a protective cover so when it's not in use probably best to keep it in this housing um, because otherwise stuff's going to get in there. I don't know, to be honest with you, if you would use it outside of this housing. Just, I know it's grit and it's got the texture to it, but with the housing, uh, I think you've just got that peace of mind and it doesn't affect your filming. All of these keys are really sturdy. If you wanted to give this to a child, if they were sort of like, oh, I'll let me have a go, you could pop it in here regardless of whether they're in the water or not and just let them run around with it this is the key to keeping this safe I think if you did drop this I think it would possibly damage I do get the impression it is a little bit robust but just for that peace of mind and protect your 150 quid's worth I'd keep it in this okay so that's the end of this initial review, the opening and a quick look at everything. Uh, join me in my next review when I go through the control panel at the back, the up and down buttons and see what kind of effects we can get and um, how easy it is basically. Okay, so signing off and I'll see you soon. Alright, bye!